Hi, I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies. Today we're going to look at the Cassian Recurve bow. This is new from China. This bow, when I first saw it, reminds me very much of the F172 or the Black Hawk. Now, what you find in China is a, lot of, is a company will make the bow and then it'll be rebranded by lots of other companies. Or they may make the bow and they may, might make it in different variations. This riser looks so much like the F171, but it's different and it's very price affordable. So this is the F172 or F171, difference being one's recurve and one's longbow. Um, now these have got bolt-on limbs. Now the Black Hawk is an old one, it's got some um, it's got a sticker on the limb there. It might have a sticker on the limb here. It's not one of the bows I handle. Um, it's basically being rebranded by another company. This bow comes in two limb types. One's uh, wood, laminate, and one's bamboo. Bamboo's about $10 more. Now this looks exactly the same, but you can see that it's a high gloss riser. Now what's different about this bow, it comes in two risers, one's the grey and one's the red and the red's behind me and what we'll do is we'll look at that in a second. But what you'll see is different is this has got interchangeable limbs. So instead of having to screw the limbs together, they just clip out. This is a standard limb that you see on all target bows and now it's very common in a lot, lot, lot of the top end hunting bows. And you'll see the um, fittings in here are quite nice, um, they're high quality. Now. A lot of people are going to talk about winding this out and a lot of the reason why people have interchangeable limbs is they, they can make the bow heavier or lighter. Now it's very very common that when people are making this adjustment they wind out too much and they'll strip the riser. So just bear that in mind or sometimes there's a locking mechanism on the back. There's no locking mechanism on the back of this. Now with, the, with this bow um, there's no place for a sight. So the sight would normally bolt on here, there's no spot for it. Um, the sight window is not large enough. This is a bow to shoot bare bow instinctive with. So um, you'll see the riser here is curved. Just there. Um, and it's also curved here. So it fits leather on very, very nicely. Um, and generally I'd want to put leather on this bow. Um, it comes in poundages from 30 to 55 pounds. Um, it comes with a, quite a nice two-tone string. Now, the good thing about this bow is the price point. This is the cheapest of the international fitting limbs, priced at 200 retail. So $200 Australian retail um, for limbs that just clip in like that. Where with the F172, or your black hawk, whatever you want to call it. These are a bolt on limb. So um, the limbs here also, the top limb is slightly different to the bottom limb, it's um, off to the side. So if you want to change from left to right, you can't because the limbs are different. Um, with international fitting limbs, you can go for a higher quality limb, you can go for a carbon limb, you could go for a foam limb. Now, the red one. This is the red one. I think it looks great. Um, some very nice limb tips. Very nicely made. Look, it's it's not a thousand dollar recurve that you'd see in you know your thousand dollar recurve, but it's definitely much better than the $200 recurves that I'm used to seeing. And I'm going to go one of the most popular $200 recurves is the Samic Sage. This is so many steps above it, it's not even worth comparing. But let's compare it. Different quality limbs, international fitting, the riser is moulded here, it's not moulded on the Samic Sage. Um, this is quite a nice bow. Okay, so the quality of the limb. You see here it's just one ply. And you'll see on the F172 
I'm hoping you can zoom in that it's two ply. So the F172 should be a little bit smoother to draw than the Cassian um, bow. But you've got the advantage of international fitting limbs, so you could go for a foam limb or something like that if you want to upgrade the limb. But still, very nice price point. Um, the limbs look quite nicely finished here. Um, there's no rough edges, it's quite nice. Um, I think these are just new out, so you might see them branded in a few other names um, in this year, but for $200, fantastic value I think um, so with that let's go and have a shot and see how it shoots okay so when you get a traditional recurve you want to string it with a bow stringer because you have to string it around the around your legs you run a, a risk of twisting the limbs so buy yourself a ten dollar um, stringer put some leather on here just to protect the shelf um, get yourself a glove an arm guard and tie some knocking points onto the string and you'll be in business now the ideal arrow you want to shoot is feathered. You want to shoot a feathered arrow, and I like carbon because they're indestructible, or well, pretty much indestructible. Look, for this video, I'm just shooting my normal target ones. You want your knocks to clip onto your string quite well. This is a large groove knock. Um, you could probably get away with a small groove knock because there's a bit of movement there on the knock. So, but for this video, this should be fine. Let's start off close. So what I'm trying to do in this video is see what the draw cycle is like, see what the vibration is like, what the noise is like. So this is a 40 pound bow. It feels quite nice to this point. I'm not getting any... It feels pretty good all the way through. Um, I'm getting a little bit of finger pinch because obviously I haven't put knocking points on the string. But let's just have a shot and see what it shoots like. That was very good. So there's some other veins um, available from AE. They're called trad veins. I haven't tried them yet, but that's they're a plastic vein, but they're meant to be like feathers. So you can give that a try. Now, a lot of people talk about noise on recurves. To quiet them down, you can put a little dampeners on the back of the limbs here. You can put puff silencers on to stop that vibration. I think it's pretty good. Um, I really can't pick any. I really can't pick any different difference between this and the F172. Um, Killing my fingers. Um, we'll shoot it with the tab. But it's the string looks nice. I'd probably want a slightly thicker string. Um, a thicker string would hurt my fingers less and create a little bit more stability. Um, but it's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. For $200, how can you go wrong with this? Um, it's new out now. Take a look. And if you're interested in getting into the sport of archery and you're interested in something traditional, look, this is great value and they're easy to clip together. Universal limbs. Um, pretty good. Um, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Um, check it out at your local archery shop now. Thanks for watching. Bye.